Hello guys, I had to be live. I know it's been a while, but I've been so busy with other stuff going on. And I want to show you guys some of the basic, the ones, people that have the virus TI or virus TI snow. The virus control and the virus TI 2 or TI has 16 parts in this section right here. But on the virus TI snow, you only get four sufficient enough to do any sound with this. In your browser, <clears throat> you got all your sounds. Let's just put a chord. And as you can see, Whoa, I'm not at the top. And most of these sounds already played out, they're already designed and everything in this section. And you can find them through categories or if you go to your personal library and you download the free banks that the virus and, and, and the access page um, you can actually download the free patches that they have in the access page or whatever you know whatever you get them my patches are this I created these sounds well up to right here all these that are saying dub or dub core and then I have others from Ben Crossland and other people <clears throat> like that one you can't hear crap Okay, and that's the bank section or the browser section. And then here is where you got all your oscillator or your sound generators. And you have one, two oscillators, three oscillators, a noise, a sub os, which we're going to go from the beginning right here, a sub os a ring modulator and a noise now here you control the volume as much as you want for how much saturation you want this section is the fm mode frequency modulation and you can add wave sync problem usually
and then I'm doing two things at the same time here, three things at the same time. So this is the reason why my computer is like freezing up. Triangle. And then you have your unison, which this takes a lot of resources from the virus. A lot, believe me, it does. And then. Pan spread. Spread. Sub. You can hear that sub intensifying in there. The filter section. Well, here is the new filter, the envelopes that we have, at, which you can later on modulate, but this is the filter envelope. This is the amplifier envelope. And you can put your saturation to where you want. They do six pole, par, or split. Okay, and this is the LFO section. This is where you mainly can get, um, you can do the wobble stuff or whatever you want, but you have to like put what you want to do. Let's say if I want to do a wobble here, I'll go to the LFO. Oscillator one. And I don't know what should I modulate here. Pulse width.
So here's where you do kind of that wobble stuff. You can create your own little wobble in a way. And um, you got three LFOs, which is interesting. And the matrix is where you can get more interesting. Let's say I have that sound going on and I want to get the envelope working here. But I want to have the release the release and let's say release. Did I put Envelope three, yeah. all right. Envelope three.
here you got your effects section, your arpeggiator. And so that's one of the part of the matrix. You can modulate stuff here. Not only that, you can even control it, I think. I want to see if I can do that through here by assigning a knob. I can't. All right, I think I could if I go here. if I can data entry let me see something supposedly that pops up right over here So you actually can assign soft knobs in this section right here. As you can see, it says height. And then your ARP section is your arpeggiator. Now, you can assign, let's say, chord or whatever it is over here, and you hit random. And this is another section that I'm going to have to explain later on in another tutorial. Um, but as you can see, this is what it sounds like. I'll go into this in another section and I hope that this was some information about the virus CI. I'm still exploring this synthesizer. It's an amazing synthesizer. You can get some amazing sound. There's so much possibility with this synthesizer. I've been playing around with it lately because I've been trying to create my own little patch of sounds and stuff like that for a future composition and arrangement of sound and dub tech stuff that I want to do and it's an amazing synth. I mean, 
I've gone through most of the section here and I'm still exploring these sections. I mean, right now as I, as I was with you guys, I was just exploring what I was trying to get. And one of the possibilities you can get with this is one of this. And it's an amazing synth. Now I'm gonna explain the effects section and the ARP section in depth more, but I'm still learning. I'm, I'm in the same level as you guys. I'm, I'm learning how to use this, this synthesizer and it's an amazing synthesizer. Hope this was uh, good information for you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.